field is set once again, ready to go. The Bristol Toyota Pace Truck has shut off the lights and takes a left-hand turn off of turn number two. Heads down to the center of the infield. We're ready to go off of turn number four. Steve Bowden looking the field over as they hit the corner. Amy Arsenault and Ethan Heilborn bring the field down. Green flag unfurls the Chazza's out of body sport truck. 25 lap main event is underway. Number nine, Moe's moving machine. And Amy Arsenault leads the pack early through turns three and four with Mike Dort looking to charge to the outside of the 20 of Ethan Heilborn. Amy Arsenault, though, gonna lead the first lap in this one. Down off the second corner, they come. Arsenal setting the pace. Daryl Church getting a little crossed up there as he tries to hold out of that fourth position. Down off of turn number four, they come. And they are a gaggle from third on back. Battle for second. Duart down to the inside. Takes a spot away from Heilborn as a battle for fourth with Cavallaro up on the outside. Well, Church and Cavallaro squabbling over for a place there. Lenny Guyvo looking to slide right in underneath that 80 of Cavallaro as Tim Bolger finds his way to the pit end. Amy Arsenault at the point, Mike Dewart, Ethan Heilborn, Daryl Church. Lenny Guy looking to battle to the inside of the 80 of Cavallaro as they come off a turn four. Ethan Heilborn having a great run early on. See what he can hang on to as Daryl Church goes to work, takes a peek down to the inside there. Off the corner they come, it's a four-car truck fight, down into three and four. The 20 of Heilborn trying to hold on to that third spot. He's got Darryl Church, Lenny Guy, Mike Cavalero, Whitney Campbell, Rick Martin, and Barry Shaw all pounding at the back door off of two. Several cars under a blanket coming down the back straightaway. Ethan Heilborn looking to hold off a hungry Darryl Church down the inside. Doesn't quite pull it off. Darryl Church, though, looking to make the inside line stick. He hired one with a handful of Dutch of Church down to the inside. They come off a turn two side by side. It's a three and four and Church trying to even up with the number 20. Takes a spot away. Cavalier trying to squeeze through and drop down. He goes around. Little guy gets caught up in that as well. And the caution flag comes out. Mike Cavallaro trying to make a move from the top to the bottom. Lenny Guy was already there. Neither one of them were giving up any inch out on that asphalt. And they both get together and go around off of turn number four and have to fall in. With point. Barry Shaw, Mike Alvarez, row number four, Tom Scully the third, and Marissa Morgan, ninth and tenth. Off of turn number four, Amy Arsenal, Mike Duart jump up on the throttle. Green flag is out. We head down to turn number one. Duart looking for the run up on the outside as they head off at two. Duart on a mission on that outside line. Early advantage coming through three and four. Arsenal, though, not giving it up so easy. They come off side by side. It's Duart, though, at the line, looking to slide down in front of the nine car. He does so, and we have a new leader, Kevin. Mike Duart becomes the second leader of the event and sets tail at the top of the leaderboard as they come off of turn number four. Eight laps up on the board. Arsenal settles in for second. Heilborn moves his way back up into third, and here comes Brittany Campbell down on the inside of Darrell Church. They race down the back straightaway. Campbell gets the advantage down to three. Inside line momentum working now as Campbell starts to make her way to the point. Shaw and Martin quickly giving chase and trying to follow through. Heilborn sliding down to the inside of Brittany Campbell to work that line as best as possible. Campbell over to look to the inside of the 20 off the turn four. Campbell down low trying to continue her podium streak. Takes a look down underneath. Takes that third spot away from Heilborn and Barry Shaw glued to his red bumper. Rick Martin three down the back straightaway. Martin down the inside of Shaw and Heilborn. Heilborn and Martin look at a split shot of three wide at the line. It's going to be Martin to the inside. They bang into turn one and two. Martin and Shaw side by side. Dale Church now sliding underneath Heilborn. Martin though seals the deal. Shaw having to slide down underneath Martin as they finally go single file. Barry Shaw slid up the racetrack just enough to give Rick Martin an inch. And when you give inch, an inch to Rick Martin, he takes the whole yard and slides up into the fourth spot, closing in on the aid of Brittany Campbell as Mike Duard has opened up a commanding lead on the rest of the field. It's all Mike Duard. He's had two third-place finishes this year, looking to get to that top stop of the podium as he lengthens a several car length advantage now over the number nine most moving of Amy Arsenal. Brittany Campbell again with another strong showing so far this season, but she has a real full review 
four of Rick, Rick Martin. Martin all over the back bumpers. They come off of four, ten laps to go. It is all Mike Duart, the road to landscaping number 50. Amy Allison, uncomfortable in that second position, but the con battle continues for third with Rick Martin all over the back bumper. Brittany Campbell, Barry Shore slipped back just a little bit giving Rick a little bit of cushion in that fourth spot. But he got to the inside of Heilborn. Heilborn is in the rear end as they come through turn four. Heilborn with a quick excursion through the turn four grass. They get a rolling. Guy just peeking underneath and getting that car roll sideways. Cavallaro going to be the big winner after that one, able to improve his position a couple of times as they finally get all squared away. 17 laps complete, eight remain. Rick Martin going back to work on that eight of Brittany Campbell down the back straight away, takes a peek down to the inside, settles it back behind as they come off a of four. While those who are battling for that third spot, they have closed in the gap to Amy Arsenault. They are now about two truck lengths back with seven laps remaining. It's all Mike Duart at the front. The battle for third bow heating up as Rick Martin starting to close on that number eight machine of Brittany Campbell. Amy Arsenault also having to look on a little bit of the defensive as Campbell starts to close on that nine car. But it's at the front. Mike Duart coming across the stripe with five circuits between him and the checkered. Five more circuits for Rick Martin to get up on the podium. Sits fourth on the grid right now as they head down into turn number one. Barry Shaw rounds out the top five in the 85, about four truck lengths ahead of the four of Darrell Church. It's about two-thirds of a straightaway back to Mike Cavallaro in that number 80 as they roll off of four. Battle for second now, heating up. It's a three-car battle. Amy Arsenal followed by Brittany Campbell. Rick Martin, though, getting closer and closer to the rear bumper of that eight machine. Campbell having to play offense and de defensive here. She's the meat of the sandwich. She needs to make a move now. Rick Martin getting into the rear of the eight car. They continue rolling well as there's two laps to go and they cross the stripe this time. Two more times around. Brittany Campbell gets a run underneath Amy Arsenal in that battle for second. Pounded to one and two. Campbell down low. Looking for another runner-up finish down the back straight away. She battles with Arsenal down to three. White flag is for Mike Duart, but the battle is for second. Martin, right there behind the eight as Brittany Campbell slides up into the number two position. Off the back, straight away they go. Mike Duart with a straightaway advantage. Rolls off at turn number four. He'll pick up his first win of the season. Second place will go to Brittany Campbell. Martin will take down third with Amy Arsenault fourth and Barry Shaw rounding out the top five. All right, we're down here in victory lane, waiting for our drivers to hop out of the car. Will uh, Rick Martin pop it out here? Back on the podium in as many weeks. Good to see you here for a second week in a row. Yeah, it's fun out here in the trunks. These guys, I, I think there's more respect out here than in the pro stocks. Uh, Joey Robin, congratulations to, to do out over here with Brittany hell of a race. Yeah, you really battled through that field there. Uh, how about uh, those final laps trying to three-car battle between Cameron and Arsenal and pulled for you? Yeah, well, she was trying to buy him, but I think Amy kept giving it a break job every time she got the nose in there, so we come together a couple of times, but besides that, it was clean. Great racing, as always. I know there's a lot of people you want to thank. Yeah, I got to thank uh, Richie's Insulation, uh, Marsha and Ed there to put this truck together, and all the guys that sponsored uh, New England Collision, Apollo Safety Glass, Tequila Lime. Uh, Rick Martin race guys, that's it. <laughs> well, a great run again here tonight. Get him for the third place finish, Rick Martin. A common theme over here, second place here this time. Brittany, how about racing for for you? Um, I mean, <laughs> uh, you gotta send it in there in my last few laps and. Amy, she kept kind of coming down on me, and you got to give it a shot. I knew Rick was on the outside, and if I tried running outside, I knew Rick would get to the inside, so got to make something happen. Yeah, you sure did, and uh, we've seen this number eight truck here in Victory Lane a lot of times this year already, only week four. It's got to feel really good to have this much success so far this early. Yeah, it definitely does. Last year, it felt like I was stuck in third, and this year, now it's second, so hopefully a win will come soon. Um, I got to thank my dad, Jimmy Kuhn, um, Imperium, Massachusetts, the downtown, Watermark Electric, Liberty and Union, Timmy Brown Music, and Titan Vet Services. A great showing again tonight. Give it up for your second place finisher, Brittany Campbell.
and it's only been a couple of weeks overdue. We've seen you in the third spot a couple of times already, Mike, but uh, congratulations on the first place finish. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, that was great. This is the best we've had the new truck since we've got it. Having a clean, no, no notes on the new truck. You had to throw everything all on the old truck and start from scratch. So I think we finally got some kind of baseline we can work forward with now. Yeah, well, make sure you keep the notes from this race. Uh, walk on well for you. You had quite the, quite the lead ahead of you, and uh, you really set sail in the pack that time. Uh, so um, anyone you want to thank? Yeah, I got to thank my entire crew, especially after the week we had where this thing was on fire last night in the garage. So, But I got to thank my crew chief, George Terji, his wife, Sandy, my dad, my brother, my father, all my sponsors, Farry and Sons Oil Heating, Car Connections, Eric's Auto Service, Roaches Landscaping, Everybody here busts that hump, and I just try to make them proud, but tonight they made me proud with this buddy. Well, it sure showed, and a great finish again. Congratulations, your champion of the night, Rick Mike Duart. <laughs>